Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be going to Marshalls and checking out their makeup section. I've actually never done that before. I've done TJ Maxx a few times and by the time you guys will see this video, my video that was up two weeks ago was the makeup at TJ Maxx. I mean, I showed you guys what else was at TJ Maxx, but I was really impressed with their makeup section, like all their high-end makeup that they have there for cheap. I was mentioning there was the Too Faced um, Sweetie bronzer, like from the Sweet Peach line, and I paid like $30 for that bronzer, and they had it for $12.99. So I was super impressed with some of the things that I saw there at TJ Maxx, so I kind of wanted to scope out my local Marshalls, see what high-end brands they have, and compare it to like what I found at TJ Maxx. Hopefully, it doesn't look like too overpicked because I will be getting there relatively early in the morning. I know sometimes, like when I've gone to TJ Maxx other times, some of the makeup looks like people open it, use it, and put it back, kind of gross, but this time it really didn't look that bad. So I just kind of wanted to get a feel for what Marshalls offers for the cheap high-end makeup, if you will. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see what new makeup they have at Marshalls, then just keep watching. All right, so their skincare section is definitely more impressive than TJ Maxx. So let's see what we have. We've got Shishido. They sell this at Sephora, you guys. This is $39.99. I'm not really sure how much that would be, but I do know that that is an expensive brand sold at Sephora. So that's pretty impressive. We've got some retinol going on here. We have some Paracone MD. It's $29.99, and I'm not sure exactly. Again, I do know that this is a really expensive brand. So this firming moisturizer is $49.99. So if I had to guess, I would say some of this stuff is probably like anywhere from like $15 to $30 cheaper. We've got some Peter Thomas Roth for $39.99. That's actually pretty good. This Murad moisturizer is only $19.99. That's a pretty good deal and then they've got a Laura Mercier flawless skin moisturizer 24.99 that's a really good deal as well like every brand here Elizabeth Arden Estee Lauder Vichy very impressive so the message I'm getting here is do not buy your skincare at Sephora or Ulta come here <laughs> so honestly I know that a lot of these L'Oreal moisturizers are a couple of dollars more expensive at Walmart or um, TJ Matt or Target, but they're only $9.99 here, so that is a good price. Especially a lot of these Revitalifts, this is only $9.99. I know they go for like $13 or $14 at Walmart and Target, so that is a good price as well. I know I mentioned this Alba brand in my TJ Maxx video. I really love it, and my mom kind of yelled at me. She's like, you didn't show the prices. So this moisturizer is $9.99. It's a very great moisturizer. I would highly recommend it. I found Glam Glow. That's like crazy. $34.99. I know these usually, these like mud masks are about $50, so that's a good deal as well. I didn't know they carried Glam glow at tj maxx they had this brand of the beauty blenders but it looks like they carry a lot more brands i don't know how you pronounce this creme cream they have let's see they've got real techniques i love real techniques brushes you guys they're really good this brush that's only 9.99 you guys that's crazy i really like it too i like the rose gold and the pink it almost looks like luxie brushes and then here's some more um, Nicole Miller brushes as well. Makeup brush cleaning mats are great. I put them in the sink and they really help to get all like the foundation eyeshadow off of my makeup brushes. I would highly recommend these. It's only $4.99 you guys, that's what I mean. I don't know. Marshalls is looking like it's winning over TJ Maxx so far, you guys. I didn't know that Jessica Simpson sold brushes if she didn't already, you know, sell everything else. I love her sunglasses. And this brush set is only $9.99, you guys. That's crazy. We have all designer perfumes here. And in my perfume video, one of you guys asked if I had checked out Marshalls or TJ Maxx designer perfumes. So I am doing that right now. We have some Burberry Brit Sheer. I've never tried this one. $30, that's actually a pretty good price. The Versace Yellow Diamond for $30. Comment down below if you guys own and loved all these Britney Spears perfumes. I used to have this way back in the day. And I don't even know if they like carry this anymore. It's just here, but it's $19.99. I used to love that perfume, you guys. I have a Juicy Couture perfume here. I do not own this one, and it is $19.99. Peace, love, Juicy Couture. So this Joico shampoo, it's not the color pack one, but it's on clearance for $13. This goes for like $25, $30 normally, so that's a good price, you guys. They have a lot of these like facial cleanser brushes, $4. 
that's insane. But we have this whole e.l.f. brush kit down here for $24.99. That's like a pretty good deal for 19 brushes. More e.l.f. brushes down here, and then here's some other brushes. I've never really heard of these brands. In your own beauty blender, that is so cute. $12.99 for all these beauty blenders, you guys. That's crazy. So we have some e.l.f. makeup over here. I kind of want to see how much they sell. Yeah, I think they sell the e.l.f. makeup here cheaper than Walmart, you guys. This right here is only $2.99. Maybelline Color Correcting Kit is only $2.99, you guys. That's definitely cheaper than Walmart or Target. So I found a NARS um, highlighter in the shade Albatross. It's just like a really white, bright highlighter shade. And it's only $9.99, you guys. I used to own that years ago. Got some Pixie down here. And I know they sell Pixie at Target. This right here is only $8.99. So I'm assuming that it's got to be more expensive at Target. Um, this eyeshadow kit is $8.99. Wow, I am impressed you guys. So we've got some other random high-end and drugstore products here as well. I did find the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundations for $12.99. So again, that's a pretty good price. Then we've got some like Paracone MD, like they're, a lot of their makeup, it's like $7.99. So that's crazy because I know they do sell this, I believe, still at Sephora. So the Stilla palette's like open, you guys. It's $16.99, but it kind of looks like it's been opened. This would be an example of what I'm talking about. It looks like it's been opened like a million times. Becca blush is here for $8, you guys. That's crazy. I know I saw these Aurora highlighter kits at TJ Maxx. This is $16.99. I don't remember what I said it was at TJ Maxx, but there are these like weird things, you guys. I have the Naked Ultimate Basics palette by Herb Decay for $24.99, so I feel like that goes probably closer to like 40 or 50, so that's a good deal. Looks like we've got some more Anastasia Beverly Hills. We've got Bite Beauty. These Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks are $7.99. The NARS lipstick for $8. These go for like close to 30 bucks, you guys. They have Kat Von D liquid lipsticks here for $6, $5.99, that is a steal. These are the Stila liquid lipsticks and I know I have one shade that I paid full price for and these are only $5.99, you guys, that's insane. We have some Too Faced Melted Latex. This one doesn't even have anything in it, but the price is $5.99. I only found an open Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, I definitely, that's what I'm talking about, you guys. You wouldn't even be able to buy this but it's $24.99. These go for like close to 50, so that is a good deal. We have a lot of like drugstore mascaras. This is only $3.99. I know at Walmart and Target, it's like close to $10, probably like eight to $10, so that's a bargain. I wish they had my um, two mascaras that I typically get, but they don't. I don't see it here. DJ Maxx, they had these lashes for the same price, $5.99. At Ulta, you will pay $9.99 for these, so that is a good deal. And sell Salon Perfect here, you guys, and I know I've talked about Salon Perfect lashes before. This is only $5.99, and I know at Walmart and Target, a five-pack will go for like 10 bucks or 8 bucks, so that's a good deal. I have like more of these like beauty blender things for $5.99. This is so cute. This would be a really cute decor piece for a beauty room, a jar of beauty blenders for only $16.99. And then look at these like little bags. They're $7.99, these little like makeup bags. They're super cute. So I just realized they put a lot of these palettes in these holders so you can't open them. That's actually a good idea. So this palette right here is $24.99. Now guys, last but not least is the clearance section. Let's scope this out. I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks for $4. Becca foundation for ten dollars but this is what i was talking about a lot of this looks like it's been opened and touched maybe not most of these down here these blush trios are only 10.99 some kat von d locket powder foundation for nine dollars that's a pretty good deal it looks like we have some clearance perfumes and i think one of you guys was telling me you wore this um, Daisy by Marc Jacobs and it is $40 here so if you guys wear this it is cheaper here okay you guys so overall I was super impressed again whenever I go to that particular Marshalls of mine it's like a Marshalls home goods it's huge I always go in the home decor section I never really go and like scope out you know the beauty section or anything like that and I was super impressed at the amount of cheap high-end makeup that they had they had a lot of like Too Faced palettes and I know that um 
they were putting them in those like weird plastic things and then I figured it out for a reason so that people don't open and use them because the ones that I saw like I think it was the bonbons when I showed you it was open and then like one of the shades was completely gone or there were like lipsticks that didn't even have anything in the box so um you know some of that I saw it kind of like picked over and everything like that but for the most part I was pretty impressed it was kind of getting packed though it is the day before the 4th of July so a lot of people aren't working so even like around 10 o'clock it was kind of packed so um but again for certain things like the hair care even just a lot of like drugstore makeup even it's cheaper than Walmart or Target so again I was super impressed so I definitely want to keep going to scope out what they have I do plan on you know getting makeup here and there when I do make these videos for you guys I really feel like I don't need any makeup right now and plus if I'm gonna be doing these videos for you guys every week I can't be buying makeup every week my husband would kill me but anyways let me know did you guys like do you guys have that good of the high-end makeup at your local Marshalls because I just didn't even know that but anyways let me know I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video bye